The banana caused an accident. Is, is there a way to throw it in front? Who did that? Yes, yes there by, is. by pointing okay. in front at the same time. Oh, with yeah. it. Good, good. Why was I struck by lightning? Because we were too good. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I feel. I feel. I'm third. That's not good. Who's second? Who's red? I am. So I get to throw this green thing now right you're, at you. You're throwing it at me? No. Well, I missed. So okay, good. <laughs> there's, there's no danger in this. How far ahead are I? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm not sure who's in second place right now. No, oh, I, 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 oh, I can't even see you yet, so I think you're, you've got a pretty good <laughs> I'm, I'm just start. chasing Julia here and trying to throw my boomerang at her. And what? No. I've missed three times already. <laughs> You know, well, someone I could told try me when I first this thing, but I don't even know where you are. <laughs> when I first played Mario Kart, that I'd one day be playing in EU Parliament. <laughs> I would have been like, testing EU no. Parliament. But then again, I was five years old. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, oh, that sounds cool. Um, so it's okay, you got me. Where, where are we currently now in European Parliament? We're in like the the canteen area. Uh, this is like basically the Great Hall. You okay. know, we have this TV set that's basically in the middle of everything. Yeah. And this this Parliament building is totally crazy. We do it have is, like a fifth is. and a half floor, like in yeah. Hogwarts or something. <laughs> I, I saw you have like your your own stores and everything. It's like a town in a town, pretty much. Yeah. Nice. So we <laughs> never have to leave because we never get to leave. Yeah. Like, like literally, they want I want you mean, to work here and not leave God. When we had the copyright so negotiation, it was like 8.30 in the evening that we finished, and uh, yes, Timo yes, was yes. Come waiting on, come outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, You got second place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get, it's a surprise. I get, I get secret scared. gamer over here. Yeah, see, right. I just got lost talking about copyright, and then I stopped <laughs> yeah, so, paying attention. So it's like, streaming, yeah. yeah. Not bad. So right. last place, I, it's because I picked the l slowest character. <laughs> yes, sure. of course. This, yes. That's the reason why. It's or like, maybe you obviously. were trying to make us feel better. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much okay, for okay. that. <laughs> Guys, some, something that I was curious about, I asked um, Julia about when we met her for the first time earlier today. TMO, you weren't there, and but you can, of course, um, talk about it now. Is that how did Article 13 come about, and like, why, why did this push for it start? Like, whose idea was it? I think it's, it's uh, unfortunately a German commissioner uh, called Oettinger uh, who introduced it. So, um, and what do they get? Look at people like him. Well, what's the benefit for people that want Article 13? Because to us, we see the massive negative side of it. But yeah. just so that we're understanding the whole argument, who are the people that are benefit, better, benefiting from it and why? Yeah. I mean, one conservative politician once told me people won't care if they can't post on YouTube as long as they all get jobs in the music industry. <laughs> Like, I think they just still live in the 1990s, where Thank basically, you. like, I mean, there is a lot of music industry pressure behind this, and I think they just think that this is what people think is cool, and, like, you know, they, they're just not in touch with, with what people do on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? they never used the platform. So um, they, I think Mr. Ettinger, for example, wasn't aware that his speech he gave, one of the first speeches he gave as the commissioner, would appear on YouTube and would be watched thousands of times because of his English pronunciation, for example. Uh, and so um, I think they, they really do not know what uh, happens to these platforms and how many, especially young people, are consuming uh, content from these platforms as normal as they read the newspaper in the morning or wait for the um, for the news uh, show in the evening. So um, yeah, I think they really do not know it. So it's pretty much that Article 13 is something that could be good for the music industry, but in consideration of the longer wave it throws, it's actually maybe good for one party, but like 10 other parties are sitting in the rain and just crying because Article 13 is not so awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this kind of started because, you know, Google was developing content ID and the music industry yeah. was like, well, but we, we want uh, Google to pay us more than just like the advertising revenue. And uh, to a lot of politicians, basically, YouTube is just like, you know, a music streaming service. But to the people who actually use it, uh, these platforms are much more diverse and like a lot of people uh, just upload okay, so stuff that they have created now, themselves and not with the intention the that, that they want to make money of it or if they do maybe by you know getting gigs uh, being invited to events and stuff like that and to them it's just like you know they know the television world 
I think we have one really good example from Pala for the whole upload filter thing because Article 13 is pretty much there to introduce an upload filter who's then gonna stop people from doing copyright infringement stuff. And Pala had a really yeah, interesting I mean, story very, about uh, very early on, so I started um, my career and everything on YouTube making content and um, I, ha I had been through the copyright system. I had a copyright strike once. It was for showing um, the box for a video game mm -hmm. the day before it had come out. Yeah. Um, hey. Is that the type of thing that you could see being worked into a content ID system from Article 13? Um, what, what's, like, what, are, what are the sort of things that can happen if an article like this were passed in that sense, in terms of what's being uploaded and how is it being filtered? Yeah, I mean, the problem is these filters, this artificial intelligence is actually not that intelligent. Like, basically, they're trying to look for things they recognize. But copyright law is complicated. Like, you probably have permission to show that yeah, thing. And like, if you're reviewing a game, you know, it's a, it's a quotation. It's actually legal to show some copyrighted content if you are talking about it and criticizing it. But the filter just sees, oh, there is like an image that's copyrighted and this needs to be blocked. So that's the kind of thing that would happen a lot more. Yeah, at the time, I think I got the game early. Um, and I just wanted to show it, but because I knew I wouldn't be able to get away with showing it gameplay. Um, so I thought, oh, maybe I can show it once. I don't know if I was wrong or right. I just, I know from personal experience that these sorts of systems are very complex. And I feel like after 13, um, again, from my own perspective, it's kind of... But, so when is fun happening on it? Um, and why, why are we talking about it now? Yeah, just, just so you know, right. the uh, so dates for the protests exactly. in yeah. Europe against Article 13 is on March 23rd. So, you are in the European Union. Make sure to be on your feet. That single vote whether we want to adopt changes from the members of the European Parliament to the text uh, confirmed today in the European Committee. So if we lose this vote, there will only be another vote if we want to accept the text or not. And uh, only if we win the very first vote, we will be able to present some changes, for example, to and this is very, um, this is, this is the county which, which is very important and for that we need to convince as many members as possible. So we need a simple majority, uh, but it's, it's hard to manage. Yeah, but so, some members have already promised they will vote. Yeah, I'll probably share the one. Like, um, and they're basically any member of Parliament can say, I promise I will not vote this directly with this but uh, this has only been launched on Monday, so it's really a new thing, and now it's time to get the call and get them to sign this as well. And which is the task that they're selling so to behind it, so they write it clearly on the page. Because whenever there's a protest, they do it. And I can't lose to some colleagues say these people are only against it because big US American companies said you have to be against it. So yeah, and that's this is yeah, nonsense. I mean it is, it I is. think they, they they cannot imagine that people actually care about the internet <laughs> and the online platforms they use. Like like the people that are pretty much here tonight right now watching us talk about the whole topic. But tell us apart from the protest, what what could the viewers do like from, from home? Like some some are underage maybe or some are like not legal age. They might not be able to just travel through Germany to come to a protest. But what, what can they do from their home? How can they support the whole, we don't want Article 30, we don't want to lose Pala or Pony or any kind of content that is being blocked by... Oh, okay. 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 Well, yes, well, that's, 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 that's
but I, I can try to, to play and talk, but... Um, Keep on going. I, I heard there's, um, there's a paper in there. Right. That's pretty popular. I mean, um, uh, the, so there is a petition that will yeah, start to change the work. It's um, um, your voice will be popular. But if you Google upload filters and change the work petition, you're going to find it. And it has almost 5 million yeah, exactly. So it's like the biggest petition on a topic. I'm already getting it. I'm sorry. So that means everyone that's pretty much watching right now. I don't know where it is. That's it. She posted a Yes. So if you like, if you are really unsure, you don't know how you post your words, the least you can do is sign the petition. That's the requirement. Oh, and you can sign it without being like you can be 16 and sign it. Yeah, you can support the cause. Yeah, and honestly, you're allowed to do it because you're really 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 allowed to do it because you're
how this article is sort of coming under the radar a bit, when there should have been more popular opinion being uh, like shared about it. I think both of you get to that too. And I thought this is more than a house. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. And of course I'm biased from London. And I just think objectively in that sense, well, it's from Great it makes sense. Article 13, it feels like if you're not, if you're involved in this online community that we have, objectively, it's not really make sense. And, and you have some power you can excise over it. The ways that we've already discussed, and hopefully the rest of the information we'll give you over the last half of the show can help you guys, encourage you to do something about it. Yes, you did not understand something. And now is the time to ask some questions because we, we have to do it here with Tim and they, they know everything pretty much about it. There's a whole block with information. There's a whole Twitter with actual discussions in the internet going on about the whole article. And if you want to ask questions, just do it now. The director's is writing it down. We're going to help him later to ask you about here. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see how good people actually understood so far what we have brought to them. I think you guys make it pretty good, team of two. Uh, what, what, what's, what's, what's going on? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it and so get a pretty good cool Day by day, like really simple. Like, you know, you're in the morning, you have your favorite like Instagram, you so just check some pictures and nothing is there. Everything has to be a selfie with nothing in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Like a self portrait, black and white. Um, this is a real dystopian oh, yeah. here, you know, I'm getting into the fiction yeah. side of things. I mean, I'm, I'm having a room at home, a studio. That's, that's actually green. Yeah, I mean, there, there there's is some, some, some kind of demonstration here, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there's somebody with an Article 13 stop sign. Oh, well, were those, were those people nice. not set up by us? No, no, no not just, by me. Oh, so, uh, get them on here, gosh. <laughs> but, you know, like, probably people who were uh, hearing so, about this on, on Twitter or something. I'm working here. I like uh, it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> See, and this is this is the little things you could do if you just ride with that th science that. from school, high school, studies, wherever. It's, it's the little things that matter. And if everyone does it, it's quite a lot of people in the end. I mean, how, how many people happened at the protest? I've um, just seen the pictures and it was like huge, huge, huge mass yeah. of people. So basically what happened was uh, when this uh, agreement was reached between the parliament and the council in like secret negotiations in the evening, uh, there, the people who made this petition were streaming outside of the uh, yeah. room so they were live on the internet and were basically interviewing the politicians as they were coming out and this was hugely successful and one uh, Twitch uh, creator actually saw this and was like I'm doing a protest this Saturday in Cologne, you know, I don't care if anybody's gonna come. And 2,000 people showed up yeah. with like no preparation whatsoever. And then a week later they did it again and they about doubled the people who came. So I hope it's gonna like grow. Uh, and it's been a completely kind of spontaneous thing and people were carrying signs saying, you know, I'm not a bot because one of the German politicians, he basically said on Twitter, this must be a fake campaign by Google because all these emails I'm getting against Article 13 are from Gmail accounts. Yeah, uh, so this is very convincing, isn't it? Yeah. So I mean, I, I thought that was. There, there are more demonstrations planned. So there is another yeah, one. The third of March. In are, are there somewhere gathered online where you can find a source with the demonstrations? Yes. Yeah, so the organizers of this petition are kind of organizing the protest, and I think they have a Discord channel or something where if you yeah, want to organize a protest in your city, you can join that Discord. So what is any problem? Yeah, I mean, basically we are directly Um, the says, I like the Exactly. So, what, what, is like, what, what is the vote that's then being asked for? So, right. So, we don't find the game. I'm going to do my own. I'm going to do my own. Current um, events as well. So, I was elected in 2014, and I think Timo joined uh, sort of halfway through. Yeah. Uh, so, the next European election is on the 26th of May. Uh, in some countries, it's a few days earlier, like in Germany, we vote on Sunday, but in some countries, it's a Thursday or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And um, so anybody who is here in any kind of world, even if they live like in another European country, uh, if they're, well, depending.
Possibility to discuss the problem or do something, and yeah, this is why I get involved. I'm also going to try to make a PC so, building video yeah. before March 20th. So the most important because thing I want to ask, and Twitch chat probably agrees, is um, as a I'm pirate party member, do you believe in the Even Almighty Spider Monster? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Thanks. Yeah, so I mean, this <laughs> is all for matches. Definitely, but um, for the rest of the stream, I think there, there are kind I of, might want there's also to like this church of copyism, which is basically Twitch. copying as a as a holy act. I think that's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, so let's, this time, let's the, cut this the out. Green one again? <laughs> so, but you're third overall, yes, third overall, team. Yes, yes, it was the first time I lost. I'm, I'm, I'm four. We have Donkey Kong leading Sopala. So, and how much did you practice? Uh, I'm not even I've, very I've, good at this game. I've played once or twice, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. This is disrespectful saying that as the first. I don't mean it's disrespect, but literally, oh. there's so. I do presenting right. One of one, one the games I do, my, my, my favorite esports, CSGO, I'm heavily involved in. There's a guy that is unnaturally good at Mario Kart. His name's Moses, he's one of the commentators. He is like. I can't understand. He'll be at the back and somehow work his way to the front. He's always there, destroying everybody. Moses, if you're watching, I love you, but I hate you. <laughs> it's gaming magic. So yeah. one question from the chat, really important is, as you said, how can people contact you, like Twitter, and you said this Parliament okay. MEP side? How can they get in touch with you if they actually still have more questions after the stream, if they want to get involved in the whole thing right. even more? Basically on all platforms. <laughs> no, 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 but uh, for me, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, first. it's YouTube, Where? for example. Uh, I have my own YouTube channel. Um, How's it called? So, uh, it's Vulcan, W O E L K E N, quite simple. And uh, since yesterday, also a Twitch channel, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the, 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 mo the best way would be uh, to use Twitter. Yeah, for me, Twitter as well. I'm Zenf Icon, so S E N F I C O N. I yes. think the moderators could probably put That's some right. links in the chat for that, right. so we instantly have that going on too. And every time I say that, somebody is like, oh, okay. that's so how it's pronounced. Point. Yes, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. And so. I'm going to tell you one secret like, all I the MEPs' uh, uh, phone numbers, like from the parliament, they are on the internet, so on pledge2019.eu. So you can actually call us, and you might not, not get us on the phone directly, so but maybe one of our assistants. Once. And it's pretty much not like that you're just sitting on your phone and constantly checking your Twitter. No, you actually have a so team that helps you to pretty much get all the information together. So you have those questions, you can answer them, you have the time in between of your daily business to actually help the people as good as possible. I am. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, of course, you can also call the people who are, not, are uh, uh, already against Article 13 and try to convince them. So, 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 like, we have two people. If you want to get in contact with them, this it's is great. probably the only way. Team and Julia are doing a good job, yeah, but it's actually more important to call the people that are still for Article 13. So that still need to improve. That, yes. does, that doesn't mean call them and, and with scary voices. You know? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. 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 But, but yeah, you can, you can contact me on Twitcher, no don't problem. Don't harm like, them. Yeah, no. be nice to them, for sure. It's a democratic. Yeah, uh, process and uh, 
Yeah. And people can change their minds, and they're not yeah. going to change their minds if you insult them. Yes, I mean, yeah. shout at them or make them angry. The thing is, is when, of course, these people that are voting or showing that they're most likely going to vote in favor of Article 13, they're, yeah. they're going to be open to I rational and discussion wow. and, and debate, right? And these are people that need your support to be in power. And so if you show them that you have disagreements and with the way that they're choosing to do things, then they're going to think, oh, man, I might be losing a voter here, right? Yeah. And so um, you, 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 you want to, like, engage this rationally and logically. Yeah, you don't want to be doing anything silly, like bringing people up and trolling them. And um, right. we'll go about yeah, this like the right way. To do, if, but if they know, if we'll they go know. about this the right way is what I'm saying, right. please. I mean, somebody who knows that you're never going to vote for them is probably mm. not going to listen to you. Mm. But if you're basically like, well, I think your party is pretty good, but on this I really disagree with mm. you. But, they but might listen to that. One of my assistants just wrote me and said, I actually dislike my own stream they should because call a, the my MMPs voice who are not convinced. Yeah, but you can send us Twitter messages and just ask questions, like if something is unclear to you, like I don't mind that. Either. And also, um, again, a, a topic that we touched on before, and just TM, TMO before you were oh, there, um, is that continue. in general, this is quite a non partisan issue. Like, for instance, if you're in the UK, not sure about uh, the internet yeah. and your political bias um, shouldn't really affect the decision here too much. Like, look, if you're watching this stuff online, or you're creating this stuff, this is going to right. affect you regardless of what you think of Brexit or not. Um, and so I think that's why it's very important to keep it regardless of what you want to believe in the wider um, sense of politics, whether it's European or tournaments. in their home country. Would you agree? Totally. I mean, there are supporters and opponents of Article 13. Nobody actually agrees yes. with yes. And so it's not a typical kind of left or right ideological uh, issue, but it's really just have you grown here. up with the internet or are you in touch with how people use it, then you're probably going to understand what it gets. Perfect. We also heard just that we're a couple of thousand away from actually reaching the 4.9 million, actually breaking the 4.9 million on change.org permission. Guys, get in there. If, if you have friends, if you if you're yourself and you haven't done it yet, it actually helps our party members to represent us in the MP of the European Parliament. It helps everyone to hopefully get some voices out there against Article 13 to make more people aware, and that's the most important thing right now, awareness for, for different party members, for everyone. I actually for agree with me, myself, Dom, and because and the other creators that um, have slept so far, if you don't you save your internet, that, night, so far, then like, your yeah, game I channel, no politics on my channel, your K-pop yeah, channel, if you don't have a channel um, anymore because of politics, you should walk channel, so all gone you know, get involved to a certain degree at this point. So back to single player mode, just like some of the more wants to join my tournament. Oh, I got it. Uh, uh, so you're going to be a robot. Uh, oh, I, I, I have, I have a voice in my head. Why do I feel so much? I don't think it's scratch. Not that it's a back force, but it's a scratch. I just spent a long time. So, in other words, I'm trash. Why for days to exist in this guy? I'm not sure. No. Oh yeah, but he is stepping down. But the new CEO is very strong. This is this is more technical. If you see a blue shot in the second place, if you're the first in the first place, you have to slow down and try to get the same distance from all the blue shot. Because you are if you are too close to 
person in clothes, then he will also be hit by a blue shot. Discussions and actually, the US Copyright Office is currently doing a questionnaire where they are like, Hey, Europe is discussing this article 13. Hey, who was that? <laughs> ah, that was a sweet revenge. Yeah, so there's a good chance that if Europe passes this, it will eventually be introduced all over the world. So, so it now sounds like Okay, EU problem. Like, I'm safe call. I'm in America. My American content creator, who also has European viewers, yeah. uh, might, might not want to hear about this, but it's pretty much a platform issue. Okay, so if, if like YouTube has to stop doing EU content too, if it would maybe have to stop Twitch on you know, YouTube, YouTube, all the like, uh, that's, that's also like,
it's perfectly Liverpool quotation. It gets blocked, and then you can complain, and your live stream will be unblocked 24 hours later. Yeah, so is that something that we should clarify to the viewers then? Is that not only are the purposes that Article 13 um, being, that it's being made for, kind of, from our opinion, wrong, well, and the, the, the way it would need it to be enforced. Technologically, technologically, we just don't have the ability to, to do those things accurately. Yeah. Um, and so that's probably worth thinking about at home as well. Yeah, I think some of the politicians, especially the older ones, they kind of they don't realize technology that, is magic. Well, there's, one, you know? there's, a, there's a person doing it for every video, right? Or, like, I don't know. I think they imagine yeah. that these are easy technological problems to solve because yeah. they're not that familiar with it. Yeah, and they compared it to uh, cars which drive driverless. So autonomous cars yeah. compared to Apple filters, which should recognize parity and... and it's yeah. easy. Any small platform yeah. operator can build an autonomous yeah. car. So this is why we have these cars already, because it's so easy to have the filters in place. Right. Yeah. Right. But, right. but one most important thing we have to state too is that we're actually sitting in the EU Parliament doing a Twitch stream yeah. live yeah, from here, it's playing it's computer yeah, games. Slightly <laughs> bit sweet. <laughs> the future is here. With, with, I think you, you used one of your last chances to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy I'm here, man. I kind of I mean, felt you know. a bit awkward when I showed you my passport. I was like, oh. You're very welcome to yes. stay. Yes. Everybody here okay. is going to tell you that. Like, yeah. you don't have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. Perfect. So, I had another question from the production, but I need that again. But, but, he's standing. There but Tim is over there socializing in the EU Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> And this yeah. is why it's so great that this is a Do really relaxed live stream. We actually don't have a really but big minute to minute yeah. agenda. All things we aside, just chill. We with actually, um, you know, European Parliament, they're not stuck up. They're really nice people, actually. They, they greeted us with their first name, and like, I'm Herr her Vilken. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, oh, yeah. sure. There's, there's a question coming. Will moving to another country help me avoid Article 13? No. Because no. it's the people like that like, are cr creating within the law of Article 13 <laughs> would be affected. So it's what you consume. Um, if you try to consume European content, and a law that stuff would have to change. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, a law shouldn't uh, be uh, decisive where you want to live and where not. So a law on the internet. Yeah, and I mean, it's not going to help because even if you move to another yeah. country, you're still wanting to watch the creators. Anyways, thanks for watching. From, from back home. It's not like they, they have to all the too. Yeah. Yeah.